Welcome back to my channel. It's May Larson here. And for this tutorial, we're going to be creating some beautiful, and I mean beautiful, flower utilizing the scraps that we had left over from our fabric pumpkin. Now you're probably saying, where's that fabric pumpkin? Well, if you stay tuned, you're going to see that fabric pumpkin here in the next couple days. And you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. So this is what I've done. I've taken some felt that was gifted to me by Young Sue, and I believe she got this from Daiso. So I'm not sure how much it costs, but I know I can get a lot of little felt circles out of that. We're going to cut out a little circle, and I fold it in half, and I try to make somewhat of a circle. Now, I'm not perfect at this because, you know, it's by hand. So let's cut out a felt circle. And if you don't have felt, just use a piece of fabric, and that's just to back your flower up. Now, as you can see, all those little scraps of fabric were leftovers from the pumpkin that I have created for you guys. And this fabric is almost like a silk fabric, so you can fray it, and it comes out really cool once you fray it. So right here, I'm fraying it. And when I cut the fabric, I actually cut out little triangles because actually I made a bigger flower. And so those are the little triangles that I used to create the flower that went on top of the pumpkin, the fabric pumpkin. And we're going to use a silicone tool to help us so we're not getting our fingers burnt, keep fraying these little pieces. And like I said, the good thing is they're little triangle pieces. And you will see that flower and the pumpkin in the next couple days. I promise you that. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what's to come. So just keep putting these little triangle pieces. And it's almost like you're making a pinwheel. And you can use the back of your scissors to fray them out more. So just keep putting little bits of glue here and there and get that pinwheel style rhythm going on. And I'm just playing with it. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm putting it. And again, I'm trying to get that little, almost like a pinwheel effect to it. So that's why you see me moving it around a lot.
So you're just going to keep doing this until you have a full flower and you'll keep piling layer after layer and bits after bits and you can also use little scraps of doilies or eyelash trim whatever you have in your little stash of scraps just use that and clear your desk it's a great way of utilizing your scraps and it's also a fantastic way of clearing up your table without too much effort of cleaning up so and I actually love the way it came out even though it has that pinwheel um, style to it but I love the way the flower came out oops and I dropped it oopsie daisy <laughs> So you see, it's got a nice little pinwheel rhythm to it. Now, if you're comfortable with the way it looks, you can go ahead and grab some eyelash trim or uh, I'm pulling out the um, glue webs. I wonder if we can recycle those. That's a good question. Hmm. I know those little glue webs are so annoying. And if you agree with me, why don't you comment below? Let me know how annoying it is. To see those little glue webs and you know what's so funny that no matter how much I try to scrape and make sure that I kind of burnish the tip of my glue gun so I'm not getting the glue webs I'm always getting them and there was a point or a time that I almost hated seeing the glue gun because I hate and I repeat I hate the glue webs Carla was saying to me, oh, mom, you should do a video about some of your pet peeves. And I'm like, oh, my God, the list might be too, too, too long. And, you know, one thing I'm, I'm sitting here talking about pet peeves, but one thing I do like about this little fabric that I picked up at the Austin resale or creative resale shop is that it kind of had that really distressed, curled up look. And it just gave this flower that nice, unique look that it needed. And I love, love, love how this satin or satiny silk came out. And it's a really great way to create a flower without having to sew or thread a needle. Can you imagine? That is such an awesome way of not having to thread a needle.
I was pretty determined to make this flower totally frayed so as you can see I am just fraying it with my fingertips and my nails and I actually use every single bit of scrap that I had on my desk from the pumpkin and the flower that I created for the pumpkin and again you have to subscribe to my channel click on that little bell so that you are notified when I upload that fabric pumpkin that you guys saw on my Facebook. You guys are gonna love it. One of them, I'm not even gonna, uh, well, I will let you know. One of them, guys, I use my daughter's hat. And she was actually quite surprised when she walked in and saw the pumpkin. And she said, you used my beanie, didn't you? And I said, I sure did. I absolutely am guilty as heck. So there I have some little scraps of a doily that I use on the pumpkins. As you can see on my left-hand side, there's another, another pumpkin there. So I had some little scraps and I am attaching it to this flower as well. And you don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit goes a long ways. So once you're done, you can grab your eyelash trim and you can add some of this gorgeous trim to your flower. And these are ones that I picked up at the Austin Creative Resale Shop. I love going there because they always have affordable stuff and you don't have to break the bank. So just roll it up and Put a little glob of glue down in the center of your flower and attach your eyelash trim. You can also put some in between the um, layers. This is a little bling that was gifted to me by Young Sue. So if you guys like this tutorial and you'd like to see more like this, let me know. Comment below and tell me what it is that you would like to see me create. And I will be more than happy to see if I can accommodate you on those things that you guys would like for me to create. Now, with that being said, please do comment below. That helps me out a lot. And if you see in the description below, there are some links to my Amazon account. If you happen to need any score tape or tacky glue or anything that's on my list, be sure to click on my link because that really does help me and it helps replenish some of my supplies. And I really do appreciate all your lovely comments. I am hearing, I am listening, and I do know that you guys don't like the music, so I will be eliminating the music from my video tutorials um, from this point on. Don't forget, starting Monday, I will be selecting random comments, and I'll be reading them on my channel. So... And what I'm going to try to do is start start doing some giveaways of some of the stuff that I create based off the comments. So if you start leaving me comments, you start sharing my videos, I will start selecting at least one person a month to get something that I've created that is easy to ship. So make sure you leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, and share my videos with others. Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye.